In October 2017, an asteroid hunting telescope in Hawaii detected something unusual. A cigar-shaped object about twice the size of was booking it past Earth at nearly 60,000 miles per hour and appeared to be accelerating, known as Oumuamua. A Hawaiian word made the object had the characteristics of both a comet and an asteroid. Its bizarre features led astronomers to conclude that it was a cosmic interloper, a giant chunk of rock that was formed in another star system and blasted on a journey through interstellar space billions of years ago. Today we will discuss with you on the topic where is Oumuamua now. Welcome back to Signature's life and you're watching Signature's science. Oumuamua was the first interstellar object ever detected in our solar system. For the last three years, there's been a steady stream of research papers hypothesizing about its origin, its chemistry, and even the possibility that it might be an alien spacecraft. The asteroid is rapidly receding into deep space, which makes it difficult to observe using telescopes on Earth. This means that many of the questions about Oumuamua may never be answered, unless, of course, we send a spacecraft to intercept it. This is the goal of the Project Lyra, a mission proposed by a British non-profit called the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, which funds education and research projects focused on taking us to the stars. Oumuamua is moving away from Earth at nearly twice the speed of Voyager 1, the fastest spacecraft ever built. The asteroid travels about 500 million miles per year, the average distance between the Earth and Jupiter, which means it will enter interstellar space sometime in the late 2030. To catch up with the asteroid, Project Lyra proposes launching a spacecraft on one of the world's most powerful rockets, either SpaceX's Falcon Heavy or NASA's forthcoming space launch system, and using gravity assist from Jupiter and the Sun to slow the craft toward the asteroid. The spacecraft would be outfitted with a rocket booster that would fire as it webbed around the Sun to help bring it up to speed. Project Lyra's new mission proposal suggests launching the spacecraft as soon as 2030. It would intercept Oumuamua around 2049 when the asteroid is about five times farther from the Sun than Pluto. For the sake of comparison, Voyager 1, which has gone deeper into interstellar space than any human-made object in history, has traveled 15 billion miles in 40 years. The Project Lyra spacecraft would have to travel to in half that time. The European Space Agency approved the Comet Interceptor mission, which may be the first spacecraft to do a flyby of an interstellar object. In 2028, the Comet Interceptor will be launched to L2, a point in space where the gravitational pull of the Earth and the Sun cancel each other out. L2 is essentially a parking lot for spacecraft, the Comet Interceptor, until it finds a juicy target, either a pristine comet making its first journey into the inner an interstellar object. When the Comet Interceptor approaches its mark, it will split up into three smaller spacecraft. One will keep its distance, taking photos and collecting data about 600 miles from the comet. The other two will plunge toward the comet's nucleus to sample the gas and dust flying off its surface and measure. The comet interceptor will help scientists get a better idea of how our solar system formed by studying a preserved piece of its early history. And if the comet happens to be an interstellar object, provide a window into the formation of an alien solar system. Does that mean a mission to intercept Oumuamua in interstellar space is definitely off the table? Not necessarily. 21 Borisov looked exactly like what astronomers thought an interstellar object would look like, a normal comet. We can expect interstellar objects in the future to be similar, but Oumuamua is an oddball. As it endured the inner solar system, it wasn't spewing plumes of gas like a comet. It had a bizarre elongated shape. It was tumbling end over end, and it was slightly accelerating for no obvious reason. If we discover more interstellar objects and none of them look like Oumuamua, it might be worth chasing the asteroid beyond the solar system to study it as a unique specimen. Scientists say that if we find more objects like Oumuamua, we think the desire to visit that particular object will decline. But if in 10 years it's still the only one of its type that we have found, we think it will be much more attractive to go there. 
But the question we have, where is Oumuamua now? After January 2018, Oumuamua was no longer visible to telescopes, even in space. But scientists continue to analyze it and crack open more mysteries about this unique interstellar visitor.